Hey guys, it's Zach from Say What Zach here, and we are going to be going over the AHL side of things after tonight's action, which is Tuesday, February 11th. As you can see, again, we are reorganizing, redoing the stuff, so this will be the backdrop. Hopefully, if it works out properly for the card openings, all the hockey card openings, and kind of reorganizing some of this stuff. So we just have the standings up here, and I will use a tablet to read scores and all that fun stuff to you guys uh, on the channel. So, yeah, uh, again, we are still reorganizing, figuring a few things out. Please bear with us as we try and figure this all out. Um, first up, you had the Rochester Americans and the Charlotte Checkers playing against each other. Big win for Charlotte. They end up winning this one 4-2. Big win. They need that. They do jump into third place in that division, which is, again, good for them. Defending College Cup champions. Doing good. Um, yeah, so good for Charlotte. Rochester, they've been on a decent run. Uh, this is a little bit of a big loss, but hopefully they can bounce back. We'll see how they do next game. Uh... Cleveland Monsters going to beat the uh, Griffins 6-2. I believe it was the last game of their homestand that they're on right now. Almost wore the Cleveland Monsters 500th game shirt. Decided not to. Went with the Colorado Eagles because I've been talking to them a lot. And you'll see why. The Monsters, uh, again, they're not completely out of it. They're three points back on playoff spot. They're not completely out of it quite yet. Big loss for the Griffins. It would be nice to see them leap for all the Chicago Wolves. But can't have everything, you know. It, 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 you know, they had some fun stuff with the Red Wings winning a game or so. Griffins are really close, so can, can't have everything. They win a few, they're going to lose a few. It's going to happen. Next up, the Iowa Wild going and beat San Antonio 2-1. to one, And obviously with San Antonio, we talked about it a little bit in here in their videos, but they obviously have them bought out bought by the Vegas Golden Knights owner. They are going to be moving San Antonio to Vegas is what I've hear, heard. They've sold a ton, to like 4,000 tickets already for the season opener or the home opener or whatever. Assuming that's going to happen next season, uh, again, I haven't heard anything. I haven't really looked a lot into it yet. I've been kind of busy, but I do know that Vegas will be moving San Antonio to Vegas. So, again, I don't know what's going to happen since they're now the Vegas Golden Knights affiliate. I don't know how that's going to work out for them, but that's how that's going for them. And the last game of the night, which is why I'm wearing the Colorado Eagles, is the Eagles against the Roadrunners. The Eagles go in and beat them 5-2. to two. I've been talking about the uh, Eagles. They have been a very good team. They've been on a run. You don't want to mess with the Colorado Eagles. They're one of the best teams in the league. And they have now leapfrogged into second place in the division and only two points back of the Real Runners, who have been stagnant for so long. I'm still amazed they're in first place right now. That's how bad it's been for this team in the last week or a couple weeks. Um, power rankings, I'm hoping to do some power rankings tomorrow for the AHL. I'm hoping to eventually start this NHL one. Again, a lot of stuff going on. I'm hoping tomorrow will be the day. No doubt disappointments, nothing hopefully going on. We'll see if we can get it done tomorrow. But anyways... Those are your scores. The Eagles beating the Roadrunners, 5-2. Charlotte beating the Rochester Americans, 4-2. Cleveland Monsters beating the Griffins, 6-2. And the Iowa Wild beating the San Antonio Rampage, 2-1. And we'll go into your standings real quick. So, that is right up here. So, in the Atlantic Division, you have the Hershey Bears at 67. The Wolfpack, 64. Charlotte at 69. Sorry, 59. The Providence Bruins, 58. Penguins, 56. T-Birds, 54, Phantoms, 48, and Sound Tigers, 41. In the north, you got the Senders at 68, Americans at 60, Comets at 59, Marlies at 53, Rockets at 53, Crunch at 51, Monsters at 50, and the Devils at 59, 50, 48. Can't speak. Central, Admirals, 73, Wilder at 68, Wolves at 51, Griffins at 51, Texas Stars, 50, Ice Hogs, 47, Rampage, 46, and Moose are at 44. And then the Pacific Division, Roadrunners, 60, Eagles, 58. So, again, they're two points back of the division lead. Wouldn't be surprised if by the end of the week or by the end of the weekend, Eagles are in first place. Heat are at 56, Rain are at 51, Gulls are at 50, Condors are at 45, and the Barracuda are at 32. So, real quick, a few games, only like four or five games on tonight. Not a whole lot to go over. But, yeah, those are your standings uh, after tonight's action uh, and your scores. Thank you again for so much for watching our content. Uh, we've been trying try to do as much as we can, putting a lot of thought into what we could do, what might make you guys enjoy it a little bit better, what might work better, doing all sorts of fun stuff, trying to figure that out. And again, uh, to those of you who have been liking and subscribing, thank you so much. If you're entering our contest for the hockey cards, good luck on that. And again, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is Zach from Say What's Zach. I will talk to you guys again very, very soon.